All right, Wise Guy here, and today I'm going to be replacing the driver side front hub and wheel bearing assembly. And if you're anything like me and want to get straight to the point when watching YouTube, I got you covered. I'm going to start by filming some of the pages from the factory book from Ford, showing you the step by step process on how to perform this service. And this should be similar procedure to explorers and mountaineers as well. You can pause this here if you want to take a close look at the exploded view of the front suspension showing you some of the factory torque specs. Just shows what's going to be involved, how we're going to be disconnecting the wheel speed sensor and removing a few bolts on the caliper bracket from the knuckle and removing the wheel bearing hub assembly that's really summarizing it some more front suspension views and skipping forward a few chapters the front half shaft uh, section gives you a different angle some of the torque specs on the axle nut, some important warnings about removing the axle nut when the vehicle's loaded with the weight. Showing that there's going to be a specialty tool involved and to, you know, trying to resist using a hammer on the CV joint. That can be very tempting as I imagine this is going to be very rusted if it's anything like the rear hubs if you know anything about that that can be a nightmare so for those of you who want to stick around and watch me go through the procedure let's do it this is where we'll start is by i've already done a little bit of this but spraying some penetrant uh, pb blaster on the axle nut So we'll get another bit of oil on the axle nut. We'll pop up to the engine compartment and just next to the battery here there'll be a little clip. Let's see if I can get a good angle of it. That's just the speed sensor wiring harness. great of an angle that was but basically just freeing that up so we can pull it out and we're going to remove those what were they 13 16 bolts on the caliper bracket crummy camera angle so I just fixed the camera but all that you missed is I detached this speed sensor wire from the brake line so when we take the caliper bracket off the knuckle um, that that's not you know straining on the brake line at all so we'll remove these few bolts here and get prepared to suspend the caliper bracket uh, up so it doesn't cause any damage. Actually, ended up clipping that wire as well because the new hub has all the new wiring and 
it's got a little bungee here that I can use to suspend this up. Connect it to the upper ball or control arm here. It's kind of like that. Well, one blessing was the rotor is very loose. That can be a bear of a job sometimes as well. Here's some of the bolts. We'll get some more penetrating oil on that. I'll break it up a bit. Are turned off so we can drown out the volume trying to film here. But apparently, I was really low on air after taking off the wheel and the caliper, and this axle nut is pretty rusted in there. So, I let it sit for a minute with some penetrating oil. I'm gonna pick up where we left off here and get this off. discard this and replace it with a new one. Yeah, it is really nasty in there. You get a little more of this uh, blaster in there on the half shaft so it can, uh, we're going to end up pressing that out of the uh, hub a bit. Give that a minute to soak in there. We'll attach this front hub puller tool to the studs here.
don't know how great of an angle that is, but you can see the CV shaft is pushed out of the hub a bit just to break the bond. And you can really tell that the threads were very rusted on there, so we need to clean all this up. This shield is really annoying me. I need to get this off of here to get a better look at everything. And the heads of the bolts here are just so thin that I can already see me replacing this style bolt when I reattach it on there. Coming around to the back. Just letting some of that stuff soak in. I got some... Damn, it's hard to get a good angle. We got a little bit of movement from the CV shaft uh, separating from the knuckle housing. And these are the three bolts that I showed earlier. This is probably a better view of them. But that's what bolts the hub assembly onto the knuckle. And this is the new, well, this is the new hub. These are the three bolts that we're talking about. And this is the wheel bearing that this is what is um, inserted into the knuckle and I imagine that's even more rusted and um, you know I'm probably gonna have to bang on this a bit to break that bond and remove the um, whole assembly here and here's the new wiring so we will be back okay I'm gonna attempt to break the bond on one of these 15 millimeter bolts holding the hub to the knuckle You can't get the socket seated on there too well. Hopefully you can see that. Is that a better angle? Oh man, that is on there. It's moving. Really a tight area to get a socket on here though. <sighs> Alright, I refuse to accept that this is the amount of room we have behind the knuckle to remove the bolt with a socket. So I put the hub removal tool back on there and pressed on it. And that half shaft moved past the ridge of the hub quite easily. And now there's a lot more room for a, a socket to get onto that bolt and for me to get my impact gun on there. I'm guessing after that penetrating oil soaked in, <coughs> it really broke up that rust bond. Looks like the top bolt's going to be the worst one. I'm going to try to get a better angle on it. Hopefully we can see that. I'm going to 
tap on this with the hammer. Try to get that socket seated a little better. Being cautious not to tear that boot. I didn't feel like talking, but I had to switch to a 3H drive instead of half inch for a little lower profile extension in there. Um, I didn't have an air ratchet that would have fit in there nice and well as my impact gun. There was no room for it. it looks like we got her out. All right, we could see. It's rusted in there pretty well. We're gonna give her a little tap, try to wake her up a bit. There she goes. Definitely pretty filthy in there. And clean all this up. Okay, I'm back and a little put off by the amount of visits I just spent at the auto parts store, but worth mentioning, make sure you get the right size axle nut and that your new hub comes with the proper bolts or even bolts at all, apparently. So coming back to the instruction manual, from Ford, we're going to remove in reverse process. We removed the wheel bearing and hub assembly, so we'll go back in order to reinstalling the three wheel to hub um, knuckle bolts. And then we'll reinstall the brake disc, the two anchor plate bolts for the caliper. Looks like they tightened down fairly tight to 155 foot pounds, and those three wheel hub to wheel knuckle bolts tightened down to 83 foot pounds. 
and obviously got this cleaned up really well. Got all that silicone off the uh, knuckle and just got a wire brush on my drill and spun it around a bit and cleaned it up. The new hub is directional. Want to get the wheel speed sensor in the right position. And if we just push on the CV shaft, that allows you to get the bolts in instead of fighting the angle. And you should be able to just hand tighten this down until we get the torque wrench out and tighten it down to 83 foot pounds. So I won't bore you to death with this. We'll skip past a lot of this stuff here. But again, pushing on it really allows you to get the bolts in there so trying to get this socket seated doesn't work but pushing on the cv shaft i get it in there there we go and on this top bolt just trying to bring the torque wrench over the this tie, uh, tie rod here and we got it Top bolt's already installed. We're going to put some Loctite onto the caliper bolts to make sure it stays in there. Okay, as I'm wearing down here, the new hub has a new speed sensor wire, and it actually comes with these clips that was installed on the previous uh, hub. So I have this tool here, this little um, pry tool. Let's get behind that. Where is it? There it is. Let's pop that out. See if this new one clips in. Hey, look at that. And there's another one here. Let's see if I can get an angle on it. Okay, real quick, we'll put some thread sealant on the axle nut, which we'll do on the lug nuts as well, and just zip this on where it's pretty tight. And then once the wheel's on and we lower the vehicle, we'll torque it down. It's 30 millimeter socket on the new axle nut. I know I took the other one off with a 32. Uh, that's all I had. 
something wrong with. All right, as the vehicle is lowered down and we do a final setting of 184 uh, foot-pounds of torque on the axle nut and uh, 100 foot-pounds on the lug nuts, I'm hoping to report back after a test drive with some good news uh, explaining that the howling noise goes away. Just to reiterate and summarize some of the issues that I had when uh, performing this procedure, the most difficult part was removing the three bolts from the knuckle housing. Uh, it would have definitely been much easier using a pneumatic wrench. Uh, my ratchet probably wouldn't have been rubbing against the um, boot on the CV shaft, and I do think it was important to press that shaft out rather than being tempted to use a hammer and possibly damage the axle itself. At one point, my hand did slip off the breaker bar, and I did get a, a slight injury, but all is well. Um, I did mention that I had some issues at the auto parts store, and just to touch on that a bit, I had to return that hub that I showed footage of earlier on, as it was just completely missing the bolts from the box uh, entirely, and went to a different company and had them open the box and confirm that there was bolts in the package and once I got home the bolts were too short and didn't pass through the knuckle. Um, so I returned again and apparently there is two different hubs for my vehicle and mine takes the precision hub, whatever that means, but it did have the um, longer bolts, the proper wiring and clips and it was a $200 hub which was a bit pricey, uh, but you know, it includes the bearing and everything and repaired the um, problem. So hopefully this helps. Uh, again, this is Wise Guy. Thanks for watching.